Welcome to the South Warren Media Show. The house is being built in South Glen Gables, right across from South Warren High School. All the proceeds go to St. Jude's Children's Hospital in Memphis, Tennessee. The entire house is being built by volunteers and even the furnishings are donated from stores across Warren County. Last year's house was built in Ivan Downs across the street from Jody Richards Elementary School. Dream homes are built all over the U.S. and there are four just in Kentucky. Hello, I'm Anna Sweets here with Daryl Sweets the builder of the St. Jude Dream Home. So, have you enjoyed building the St. Jude Dream Home? We have enjoyed it very much. It's great to have the community be a part of this, and we enjoy um, benefiting such a worthy cause such as St. Jude and coming together to build this home. How many years have you been building the St. Jude Dream Home? We have been building the St. Jude Dream Home for about nine years in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Um, they have been building the St. Jude Dream Home for about 11 in Bowling Green, and we've been a part of it for nine. So we're pleased to be on board again this year. How big is this house going to be? Uh, this house is going to be a super nice house. It's just under 3,000 square foot. It has three full bedrooms, two and a half baths, two large family living areas, uh, a bonus room upstairs, uh, nice backyard, cover porches. It has lots of amenities for people to enjoy. So we're, we're great to, again to be part of it. All right, thank you. You're welcome. This building lot will soon become one of the St. Jude's dream home to a lucky winner in the drawing right across from South Warren Middle School. Hello, my name is Madeline Yachts and I'm here with this week's mystery teacher. So mystery teacher, what do you do in your free time? I like to read and travel. I love to practice yoga and go shopping and teach my wonderful students here at Southwarn Middle School. Cool, so how long have you been teaching at Southwarn Middle School? This is my third year. Do you have any pets at home, mystery teacher? Yes, I have a 12-year-old Yorkshire Terrier named Presley. What college did you attend? I attended Western Kentucky University. One more question. What is your favorite color? Uh, I think my favorite color would be lavender. Thank you, mystery teacher. Who do you think this week's mystery teacher is? You have 10 seconds. Miss Green's favorite song is Imagine by John Lennon. She was born in Butler County, and her favorite book is The Great Gatsby. Locks of Love is a well-known nonprofit organization. They provide hair pieces to children who suffer from long-term medical hair loss when they can't afford it. To help out with Locks of Love, you can donate some of your hair and also donate money to the Locks of Love Foundation.
Right now, FCCLA is preparing a family fun night. Family fun night is a night that parents and students can come together and play games. The academic team competed against many schools and won the district championship. They are now practicing to compete in regionals. The Future City team worked very hard to create this futuristic model. On Martin Luther King Jr. Day, we went up to Lexington and we presented to judges and saw many other future cities. And we won the most futuristic design. In Lexington at the Future City competition, we were able to present our final product and I won the Best Presenter Award. The Beta Club members have been working hard to earn service hours and prepare for convention. Now you know the truth about the South Warren Middle School Club. I'm Trent Rice here with Catherine Cowles, an 8th grader on the South Warren Middle School girls basketball team. So Catherine, what position do you play? I play point guard and shooting guard. And what round of the playoffs did you and your team make it to this year? We made it to the semifinals against Allen County. And what do you think you and your team accomplished this year? I think we accomplished to play more as a team instead of relying on different people. Thank you for your time. Hi, I'm Hannah Hart here with Parker Strollball, a 7th grader on the boys basketball team. So Parker, what position do you play? Uh, small forward and power forward. Okay, what do you feel like your team has accomplished this year? Well, I feel that we've gotten a lot, we've gotten a lot better and just bonded together as a team. So, what do you feel like your team is best at? Well, I think we're really good on defense, and defense is our really strong point this year. We just have to get better at scoring the ball. All right, thank you. The girls and boys basketball teams both had great seasons with the seventh grade teams making it to the semifinals and the eighth grade team making it also to the semifinals. The eighth grade boys also made it to the semifinals and the seventh grade made it to the first round. Great job, guys. The seventh and eighth grade volleyball teams both had a great season with the eighth grade having a record of 21 and four and the seventh grade having a record of 19 and six. Both teams made it to the championship games at their district tournament. Great job, ladies. The South Warren Spartans had an excellent football season with the eighth grade having a great season making it to the second round of the playoffs and the seventh grade making it to the first round of the playoffs. Good job, boys. The girls softball team made it to the championship at the state tournament and had a record of 20 and seven. The South Warren soccer team went 13-1-2 and, and made it to the championship of their district tournament. Public Schools hosted its MLK celebration on January 17th at Warren Central High School. The theme was Walking on the Earth Like Brothers, which is a well-known quote from a Dr. King speech. The All District Choir performed two selections. Ms. Lowe's language arts classes have been learning to find the central idea of a passage and how to write objective summaries. Mr. Reed's class has been learning about the Bill of Rights and the Constitution. Hi, I'm Abby Haynes here with Mr. Reed. So Mr. Reed, what do you teach? Abby, I teach 8th grade American history. 
All right, and what are some things that you have been doing in class to help learn the Bill of Rights and the Constitution? Yeah, we've taken three days to spend time on the Bill of Rights, and we started off with creating our Bill of Rights monster wall where we were brick by brick going through the Bill of Rights, and students, each brick got a different amendment, and we talked to students about how the Bill of Rights protects us from the big bad monster of the government. Then we had scenarios where, where students had to figure out which amendment connected to that scenario and what in the Bill of Rights actually did that protection. And then we spent the last day doing hand signals. So students may have thrown up five fingers for the five freedoms, and then they may have had praying hands, or they may have done something with um, a microphone, a microphone for freedom of speech. So that's just what we've been doing. It's been fun. Master. Okay, thank you. Mr. Esther's science classes have been learning about the parts and functions of plant and animal cells. They are creating analogies to help them remember these things. I'm Parker Shelba here with two A Black students. So, what are you guys doing in math class? How to put slope on a graph. And how can you apply this to your daily life? Our teacher said skiing is a good example. Okay, thank you. Miss Garrett's math classes have created songs and puppet shows to learn about slope. Super Saturdays are held at WKU and they will meet four consecutive Saturdays on February 7th, 14th, 21st, and 28th. First, highlight the clip you want to use. Double click the mouse and click split clip. Once the clip is split, you can add effects to the section you would like. Double click the clip and click join clip if you want to add clips back together. If we show up, we're going to show out smoother than a fresh dry skippy. Too hot, hot day. Call the police and the fire ran too hot, hot day. Michelle fight for that white gold. This one to them hood girls, them good girls, straight masterpieces. <laughs> Grab your passport and my hand. I can make the bad guys good for a weekend. So it's going to be forever. Or it's gonna go down in flames. Grab your passport and my hand. Oh, I'll get the bad guys. Go for a weekend. Or is it gonna be forever? Or is it gonna go down in flames? I'll tell you when it's over. If the high was worth the pain, gotta love the star crossed lovers. <laughs> okay, am I crazy? Have I lost yet? Even though I know you love me, can't help it. I don't know. <laughs> Am I crazy? Have I lost you? Even though I know you love me, can't help it. I turn my chin music up and I'm puffing my chest. I'm getting ready to face. Can call me obsessed. <laughs> 